Hey, welcome to the episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. So this is a beer I picked up at the local uh, bodega slash craft beer destination from Equilibrium Brewery out of Middleton, Middletown, New York. Seven is up. Double IPA, 7.7 ABV. I guess it's a collab with Civil Society Brewing. It doesn't say anything else about it in the can, although it, is, it was... Uh, can on June 27th makes it less than 40 days old when I'm recording this. That's great. All right, so I pour it into the IPA glass, and it is a really pale yellow coming out of the can. It's even paler, and eh, well, maybe a little bit darker in the uh, glass here. Definitely kind of milkshake consistency. Bright, bright white, uh, foamy, frothy head. Sorry, it doesn't really pick up on this camera, but um. Like they said, I mean, based on the label and everything, like, and I just read it on Untaps. So like said, they're basically going for a lemon lime, a uh, hop thing. But I don't know if I would say. I mean, it doesn't smell like Seven Up. Is that what you're thinking? Uh, it's definitely, it's lemony, very. Uh, at least it doesn't smell like you know floor cleaner or air spray or something like that. But uh, it, it doesn't smell as juicy as most hazies. This just smells. Uh, just kind of like a general lemon grapefruit kind of aroma. Hmm. Has like that kind of. There's probably lactose in here because I get like kind of a sweet character on it. Maybe oats or something. Um, nothing in the way of really base malt, but yeah, I thought it'd actually be a little bit more hoppier in the nose. Let's see what the taste is about. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah, it has like a really, this spicy, grassy, almost, uh, I mean, I guess like lemon, or not lemon, or, or more like lime zest. It has that kind of flavor, but at the same time, it's like, it's almost like a Grains of Paradise, or like almost like a pumpkin beer, like this, you ever had Sam Adams uh, Summer Ale? It's actually kind of similar to that, which I believe, which is Grains of Paradise. According to untapped, unt untapped, untapped here, it doesn't see, sound like they use any actual um, hot, any actual spices in it. You know, I mean, a long uh, dry hop will often give like a kind of grassy kind of sensation. And the hops used in in most hazies do tend to have like a, um, as I always say, like kind of like a spicy aftertaste. So. Yeah, this one is kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, with most, this is one's kind of backwards, because most hazies are like you know tropical and juicy up front, with like a spicy grassy finish. This one's kind of the other way around. It's like that spice and grass immediately. Um, I really wouldn't say it tastes like Sprite or Seven Up or anything like that. It, to me, it's not flavors of lemon lime. It's just kind of a general. A general citri citrus, and I would, I would say actually, it's to me, it's more grapefruit than lemon or lime. Bitterness on it is, you know, firm. I, I would say it's not like super bitter. Well, actually, that spiciness and the actual hops are, you know, two different types of bitterness. But um, yeah, I, the actually, well, it doesn't say the IBUs on Untapped, but I don't know. It seems like it's probably about like thirty or so, maybe forty. If it's more than that, I'd be really surprised. Um, yeah, so it's it's got a spiciness, a pepperiness. Um, it's I would not call this dank. It doesn't smell or taste like weed or grass or anything like that. Well, I will say that even though like I'm not too crazy about this flavor here, I will say it is definitely much different than your average hazy. So you know you can't judge a book by its cover. But so if you're just going off appearance. This one is not like most of the beers in Equilibrium's catalog. Um, so I appreciate the creativity, but I'm not a huge fan of the actual flavor here. You know, it's um, just this weird amalgamation of lemon and lime-ish flavors. And also like really spicy and kind of grassy. Um, at least the body and mouthfeel is on point, I will say. This is, I'll probably put it like, Medium, maybe medium full. Um, definitely smooth, kind of bordering on creamy. I mean, it said it uses a lot of wheat in here. 
perfect. So it has that kind of fluffy Hefeweizen kind of texture. Carbonation is moderate, maybe moderately high. Hops linger here. I just get like a little faint uh, alcohol warmth, like right as, I, as, it, as it goes down, but it does not linger. So this one is, this one's good. It's not great. And it's, it's funny because it's called Seven Is Up, and I am going to give a seven to this beer. Seven Is Up. Um, not bad at all. Just nowhere near as good as most uh, of the equilibrium hazies that I've had. And there's probably like another two dozen <laughs> that I haven't had yet. So anyway, I'm rambling. If you watch all of the you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for Whiskey Wednesday. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.